Today we're going to join two MKV files with MKV Toolnix. I found a theatrical release that came in two parts and while you could name them properly like I have to, to allow Plex to treat them as if they were one piece of media, I understand that certain clients may have trouble with that while, while other clients like an Nvidia Shield or a Fire TV would not have a problem. So MKV Toolnix is already installed. I'm running a Linux operating system called Elementary OS. You may have to start MKV Toolnix manually and add the files. I can right click on my first file and choose Open with MKV Toolnix. And this is where if you wanted to um, remove a subtitle or change the flag on a subtitle or maybe even you had if you had two audio tracks in English and a Spanish and you wanted to remove the Spanish you could just simply uncheck it and get rid of an extra audio track or extra subtitle track. Today we're just going to click on the file, right click and choose a pen file and then we're going to pick part two and choose open. And then it's as simple as starting the multiplexing. And you'll see down in the bottom, it quickly is joining those two files and zipping them back up into one container. So if I make this smaller and go to my file browser, you see we now have a third file that will grow in size as it finishes. So it's almost done, it's at 65% now. Ninety percent. And now that we've reached 100%, we can close MKV Toolnix down. And again, if I open my first file, It's one, one hour, 32 minutes, and 50 seconds long. So if I open the next one and I pause it, we'll now see that the new file is two hours and 37 minutes long. So these two files are now joined. And if I go to that spot, and play, you'll see that the video transitioned from one to the other and I now have two files. So all I have to do is now properly rename this. We don't need any of the part ones or twos in this file. And I've now joined two files and I can drop this into my server folder and Plex will recognize it. Thanks for watching, it's pretty easy. Um, and I believe to do this, the files have to be of the same type and the same everything else. I haven't tried to join two unlike files. I just imagine that would um, that would demand that the videos be re-encoded. But because these were both encoded the same way from the same person, I can just simply join them together. Thanks for watching, and I hope this is helpful.